I've got a book haul for you. So for once, all of these books that I'm gonna show you are not impulse buys. They're actually all books that are on my TBR and like it's super bizarre, but yeah, here we are. I'm gonna show you what I got. I got Throne of Secrets by Carrie Menescalico. This is technically a standalone, but it's also kind of like the sequel in The Throne of the Fallen. And so this one follows Prince Gluttony and I'm really excited about it. I have been reading Carrie Menescalico's Stock and Jack the Ripper series. I absolutely devoured Throne of the Fallen. I know, I know, I know, everyone keeps telling me to, <laughs> that I need to read her Princes of Sin. I, I can't help the way that the vibes di dictate what books I need to read next. It just happens, it just happens. But yeah, I'm really excited and I'm like dying to read this book because I just know there's a pretty design hiding underneath there for me to reveal, but I can't look at it until I'm actually gonna read the book. So I'm definitely gonna have to read this soon. And like, look, it has like, oh, like, look at this. I really hope I didn't just show spoilers to the screen, but yeah, I'm hyped to read this book. I don't know too much about this book, to be honest. I just saw that it came out recently and I was like, okay, yeah, I need, I need to get it. But I'm pretty sure it's an enemies to lovers story and that's like the best trope, so yeah. This one's all for the Sander fans. I got You Me and the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. I'm excited because in all of my Brandon Sanderson videos, I'm always like, oh, like there's not enough romance. Like I need more. And so many people have commented saying, you gotta read You, Me and the Nightmare Painter. He has romance in his books. We, we swear by it. And I feel like people are just tired of hearing me say like, I need more romance, but honestly, Warbreaker had good war romance. So that's really good. And so, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I think, okay, so I know that it's narrated by Hoyd my man, my man Hoyd. So I know that it's gonna be very funny at times because Hoyd's humor is my favorite thing in the entire universe. I love that man with my whole heart. And the way that I understand it, I'm pretty sure it's two characters from two different kind of like even planets in the Cosmere. And they end up coming together to save both of their places from like some kind of evil that's maybe infecting them both. And yeah, that sounds really cool. Honestly, I just see the name Brandon Sanderson at this point. I'll just be like, yeah, it's a good book, I'm sure. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. And of course, with the holidays coming up, I had to get some Christmas books. This is How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. And this, another one of my favorite tropes, this has fake dating. And I'm pretty sure it's also Enemies to Lovers. Enemies to Lovers, fake dating, Christmas vibes. I'm so excited. All I really know from this book is there's like this big kind of like, I think Christmas house decorating contest or something that the entire like, I don't know, court of this neighborhood maybe decides to like participate in. And this woman's like, she's taking care of like a sick relative, I believe. And her neighbor is like, mm, like he's kind of like a, like a Grinch character, hence the kind of like the way that the picture is here. And there's like this big competition between the two. And so the guy actually ends up entering the competition as well, but I don't think he actually wanted to. And then they're like fake dating to help win the competition or something. But yeah, it sounds really fun. I think it's gonna be really, really silly. It is pretty big for like a little holiday book, but I mean, I don't mind that at all. Imagine just it's snowing outside, curled up with this book. And following my theme of kind of holiday books, we also have The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I've never actually read anything of hers, but I do own one of her books. I just have not read. The vibes are not ready for it yet. But yeah, this one, obviously I have to read during the holidays and it's also an enemies to lovers story. You seeing a theme here? And so these are, this story is basically like, I think there's like this big hurricane that happens and this kind of like reality or celebrity TV star person shows up to try to like capitalize on it. And I think the guy, is he the mayor? What is he? Okay, he's the manager, takes his responsibility seriously. So when this girl shows up, she's like a renovation celebrity. Um, he doesn't want that, not in his nice town. Like he, they don't, he doesn't want her to capitalize on this horrible disaster. And they have some history together. I'm really, really hyped. I love Enemy Soldier so much. And the last holiday theme book that I picked up is The Wedding Witch, which is Aaron Sterling's kind of continuation in the X-Hex series. I think that there's actually one before this one, but you don't have to read them in order 
from my understanding. Hopefully that's correct or I'm about to get some big spoilers here. But this is the Christmas themed one and all of these books follow the brothers. So the first book followed like the oldest brother. I think this one follows the youngest brother, Bowen. And his story sounds so cool to me because I am such a sucker for time travel. And this one is him and then there's that woman in the first book, Tessam, who basically took the ghost and was trying to sell it in the first book. And so honestly, I'm like, I did not expect her to come back. And so it's a romance between those two. And what happens is during like, they don't have obviously like, cause they're witches, they celebrate Yule. And so it's a Yuletide festival and they end up getting sent back in time. And they're trying to figure out how to get back to their present day while also trying to avoid falling in love with each other. Just thinking about it is making me so excited. This will probably be the first one that I read as soon as the snow falls down. I'm so excited. I absolutely devoured the X hex. It was so funny. It was so well written and it was just so magical and whimsical. And I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. Now this next book honestly was a shocker for me because I have been following this web comic for a very long time and you may already know it. This is Under the Oak Tree by Suji Kim and they've translated the light novel and they've put it into something you can physically hold and not read online. I read this as the web comic though. I never read it as the light. Well, to be fair, I actually did read part of the light novel after I caught up all of the web comic, but look how beautiful this is. I am so obsessed. It's got a little designs. It's got this little bookmark in it. And like this here, the first moment I saw you, I knew you would ruin me. <sighs> I, you don't even understand. I'm so excited. I, I'm really excited. I love a story so much. It basically follows along our main character, Maxie, and she has a stutter. And so because of that, she's not really allowed to talk to people. Her whole family is like really bad. Like, okay, one of my favorite shows of all time is My Happy Marriage. And it's very similar to this story, but I actually read this before My Happy Marriage, but I digress. Maxie ends up getting married against her will, of course. Um, to this night and then he leaves for like three years and so she's just like what the heck is going on at least she's away from her horrible dad and she stutters and she's very like she's not confident in herself at all and the story is so beautiful because it follows the progression of her character she becomes more confident there's magic involved there is such good spice in this book and it's like the who hurt you kind of kind of vibes with the characters <sighs> yeah I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Phantasma by Kaylee Smith. And this was actually recommended to me by one of my friends who says it has really, really great representation of a person who lives with OCD. And as somebody who lives with a pretty debilitating OCD, to be honest, I'm really excited to see something that I deal with on a daily basis represented in a book. And the way that I understand this book, uh, the way that my friend explained it to me at least as well, is think Caravel, and now think Caravel except for adults. And you get this book. And that sounds delicious. Like that, I honestly wish that Stephanie Garber, who wrote the Caravel series and the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, would do adult writing because I think there's so much potential there. But yeah, this is like, kind of like the adult version. It's a different author, of course. It's a different story, different characters, but similar kind of themes and vibes with the carnival and the games and the magic and the death and the saving the sister vibes. So yeah, I'm really excited and yeah. So yeah, these are all the lovely, lovely books that I have picked up. I do not know when I'll read some of them for sure. The like Christmassy holiday books I'll be reading like November, December, but the other ones, solely based on vibes, my friends. The books, they'll tell me when they're ready. That sounds like madness, I know, but it's the way it is. So if you're interested in watching me read any of these books, I will be making videos on every single one of them as I'm reading them, and I'll be updating you like with my thoughts while I read the books. So if that sounds interesting to you, or perhaps you're looking for more book reviews and book hauls and stuff, I'm definitely a book lover. This shelf is actually double-sided behind me, full of books, and I'm running out of space, and I, I love my books very much. So if that sounds interesting to you and that's the kind of content that you like and you enjoy watching, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime a new video comes out. If you enjoyed this video and you love book hauls as well, and you really love the seasonal kind of ones as well, definitely hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.